Think engaged. Visit us at teamspeak.com. Welcome back to TL Open number 23. This is the finals. And game number three, Zenex Hack in the bottom right of Shakura's Plateau is up 2-0 over uh, kind of the underdog and fan favorite, Targa the Zerg player. And Orb, you've played in quite a few competitive matches. You've got to know when you're in a best of five and you're up 2-0, you just feel like you can't lose. Like anything is a good idea at this point for Hack. If he wants to be aggressive, if he wants to cheese, if you want to try a different strategy, they're all the right answers, whereas Targa is up against the wall. Yeah, Targa has to play in this situation, uh, you know, conversely, when you're in that 0-2 situation, you have all these voices in your head telling you, well, what if he goes Banshee? Well, what if he goes Cloak Banshee? Well, what if he just, you know, goes Blue Flame Hellion Drop? You have all these different strategies you have to worry about, uh, and since Hack has such an advantage, as you said, he can afford to do anything he wants, and even if it fails, he'll have that 2-0 advantage to fall back on. So, Targa essentially has to play a 100% flawless game here, as you know what we're going to see. <laughs> Was that I a six pool? Uh, I, I see no flaws in this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's hard to make flaws when you only have a couple units to micro and not much macro to do. Um, so maybe Target is trying to fall back on his strengths there. I don't know. I think he's just trying to catch Hack off guard, but I don't know if this is the right choice. This is generally what we see from the player with the 2 0 advantage, not the 0 2 disadvantage. You know, and Hack's been walling off all game. Um, you know, he's either been doing it with three supply depots or he's been going Depot, Barracks, Depot. So it's going to be really difficult, especially because Targa is scouted wrong here. So he's not going to be able to get that drone in to jam up. Zergling's being produced now. Going to get that extractor for the extractor trick to allow one more pair of... Oh my god, this is like... There's all in, and then there's all in, <laughs> and that's what we have here. Exactly. He's going to send all of those units over there, those drones, to help out. Is he going to get the drone to block off the supply depot from continuing the wall off? That is the question. He does get that drone up there. If he can prevent any supply depot from going down, that will be huge. Uh, since that wall off is going to come forward with the SCV. Is he going to block it? He does block it with the drone. He needs to keep that in position. He's doing right. a great job so far. The Zergs are on the way, and the SCV has spotted it. Hack knows what's on the way. He starts his first Marine, but he desperately needs to complete that wall off the drone. Only a three hit. Points. Oh, oh, and the drone goes down. He didn't. Oh my down. god. Oh my he god. Didn't he didn't. I cannot happened. believe he let that in. Now pulling all his SCVs, trying to deal with this. This may be a victory for Targa. SCVs and Marines trying to deal with S or excuse me, Zerglings and drones. More Zerglings running up and flooding up. Hack is trying to deal with this, but I don't know if he can do it, man. Dropping a mule. He's just in full retreat now, and I think Targa may have done it. Yeah, he may have. He needs that mule since he has no income right now to be able to make additional marines right now. So that's what he's trying to do. Nice play. Wow. He got the block off there. Perfect play with that rally and the SCV is blocking the ramp. That was fantastic by Hack. Now the Zergens and Drones can force to just go after that mule. And as long as Hack actually holds his position, he might be able to stay alive. Uh, you know, normally this would be bad since he has no mining. But of course, Targa has no mining as well. You know, Hack could actually keep his position at the wall and float his command center to his natural. Or even to the 6 o'clock. I would love to see him do that. Targa is kind of yeah. committed here. He doesn't have anything mining. He didn't even leave one drone. So there's no way for him to come back. He's attacking what he can, which is the refinery. Now Hack lands and tries to come forward with three Marines. Targa is in a retreat, trying to get a flank on here. The SCV is trying to move in. Marines dancing back and forth. Targa flanking from the other side. Going to be able to surround the Marines, but the Zergling's not in there doing a lot of damage. There's actually Marine on the other side, too. Oh, my God! Has Hack done it? Oh my god, I think he may have every wow. drone dying. Zero food right now from Targa. And then <laughs> GG, <laughs> well played. Grats, rich boy. Commenting on the fact that Hack has won so many TL Opens so far. And he just took what seemed like an easy 3-0 victory. I cannot believe he came back from that. You know, Unbelievable. I don't think many people would have thought of running down your ramp to hold that position at the wall. I know I absolutely would have not done that, but that was the game changer right there. Getting his Marine to spawn on the other side, using the SUVs to block. He actually had enough leftover uh, minerals from dropping that mule, able to repair up the SUVs to come in for round two and take it. So Hack does a clean sweep, 2-0 against IS Time, and then 3-0 against Targa. Unreal. Very, very clean play by him. This is his third TL Open. And he's getting paid from TeamSpeak, yo. Absolutely, man. And you know what I would have liked to see from Targa is I was looking that entire time he was at literally 49 minerals. So if he had actually oh, yeah. just mined literally one more time with a drone, he would have at least had enough to rebuild one drone while moving out. That might not seem like a big deal, one drone mining, guys. But that remember that the orbital was lifted. Hack was not mining at all. So one drone mining can be better than zero SCVs mining. Maybe he would have just been able to stay in and try to prevent Hack from taking back his expansion or taking back his 
base. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. That's going to be, as you said, that clean sweep from Hack. He's going to be your champion, guys. And uh, wow, such dominant play from him throughout each of these TL Opens. Yeah, so we're going to see Hack back in that uh, eight-man tournament with a $1,000 prize pool, uh, courtesy of TeamSpeak. Look for that. I, can, I believe it's going to be coming up in the upcoming months. I think that's going to be it for the TL Opens for a little bit. I'm going to be sad when... Uh, Saturday morning rolls around and I see that stream thread and there's like 40 people streaming the TL Open. That's always a good time in yep. that round of uh, of a thousand. But we're going to take a little break. It may be back. We'll have to wait and see. Orb, always a pleasure. You've been casting the NASL. If people want to find more Orb, where can they do it? Well, the easiest place is just to follow me on Twitter, at ORBTL, as you see there on the screen. And I will always try to tweet about any events I'm casting, so just check that out if you enjoy my casting. If not, please leave me any constructive criticism in the tournament discussion thread, or my stream discussion thread, or a PM. Pretty much anywhere I'll try to find it. Um, you know, Chill, it was an absolute blast casting with you. I've been a big fan of you ever since you stomped Combat ever X like a I little newbie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, actually, I remember reading a thread by you way back in the Brood War days. I was a little newbie, I didn't know what I was doing, I was like a D-minus baddie, and you made this thread about timing uh talking about your friend who had all the right builds etc but didn't have the timings and actually learned so much from that so uh it was actually absolute honor to be able to cast with you and i hope we get to do it again wow my cheeks are red but uh <laughs> always fun i want to i want to go ahead and thank the unsung heroes here hotbid uh rich running the stream i believe hayoka is over there running the stream as well as well as all the team liquid uh tl open referees who are here making sure everything goes flawlessly thank you to all the streamers who are streaming the preliminary rounds and thanks again to TeamSpeak, who have been sponsoring the teal opens for a long time i'm chill joined by orb and that's going to be it for for us for today thank you very much take care